I've asked my friend Amber Rudd, our Secretary of State for the Department of Work and Pensions, to come in and help me look through some of your comments from the question I posed last time, which was, what would you do to create more better paying jobs? Mac Labour, who says, good question, call an election and get UK Labour into government. Well, I suppose Mac Labour gives away a little bit where your uh, views may be coming from. Look, I've, I've got to say to you, last time Labour were in government, they wrecked the economy. Um, we've spent the last period of years working to fix that, to get our economy working again. It's growing. We've got record number of people in jobs, actually record low unemployment as well. And, if I may say, every Labour government finishes with leaving unemployment higher than when they started. So Absolutely. a really important point to make in terms of how disastrous it is for jobs. Thank you, Brandon. So uh, Thomas Milner is suggesting that we slash income tax even further. Well, of course, we have reduced income tax quite dramatically. Uh, this year, for the first time, people who earn £12,500 don't pay any tax at all. So steadily over the past few years, we've taken people out of tax and that means that 32 million people have now had a tax cut. I'm going to try and pronounce this. If I get, I'm apologies if I get this wrong, but Schwartz, <laughs> who says, my proposition, rid of all welfare benefits and lower taxes on working people, that's the only fair solution. In terms of welfare benefits, we have the expert here with Amber, so... Well, Amber, I think that uh, we have to remember that welfare benefits do two things. On the one hand, they provide an important safety net for people who really need it, and on the other hand, they support people with different problems in their lives and helping them from work into more work, we hope, which is the purpose of universal credit. But I wouldn't take away that safety net for anything. We are a country and we are a party that appreciates the need to support people when they are most vulnerable. It could be any of us at any time, so it's right that we do that. And what's worth doing actually, if you've got some time and you're on the internet, have a look at the Department of Work and Pensions as well as our own website and some of the information that Amber and her team have put out there around the work that DWP are doing to help people and where Universal Credit is playing a really positive message and giving a really good opportunity to people across the country. There's some really powerful stories out there. It's worth having a look. So here's one from Yuri Helsing. I would like to see more support for those wishing to start their own business. I'm not talking about money, but more, more advice, such as drop-in centres or regular workshops. Well, helping people start up their own businesses is incredibly important to us because we know that it's uh, small businesses that provide the initial employment for people and hopefully grow into large businesses. In the Department of Work and Pensions, we've put in extra provision for people wanting to set up their own businesses so they can be supported by Universal Credit while they do that. We've put together a £31 million package of support for small businesses, but there's always more we can do. Dylan Kennedy Channel who says, look at increasing modern apprenticeships or work placement. Apprenticeships are an incredibly important way of people be able, being able to earn and learn. And in my constituency in Hastings, I meet lots of young people who find it a really good way to move on from school into the workplace and take the opportunity of doing that, earning and learning. So I've seen this in my own as well in Great Yarmouth with the energy industry, actually using transferable skills and using apprenticeships to get people to be able to move across industries to learn at any point in their life, but particularly obviously giving more opportunities for young people. And the point about modern apprenticeships is that they're in the modern workplace, they're in all sorts of new industries that are coming to the UK that are so important. And I I think that's what this person is getting getting to and I think they're absolutely right. Again, thank you to everybody who's put questions in or comments. Sorry we didn't get a chance to get to everything and uh, we'll have another question soon. Yes, talking of work, Brandon, we better get back to it. Absolutely. <laughs> Transferable skills and be using apprenticeships to get people to be able to move.